Hello, and welcome to What's Pissing You Off Wednesday, a podcast where I, Kevin McTaggart, rant and or react to whatever's pissing you off. If you want to know how to contribute to the podcast, go ahead and read the instructions and the show notes of either the audio podcast or the YouTube um, video. Let's get to this week's topics. Just short and sweet. Let's go. All right. We have our first contribution. It's from Lewis Gilbert on Twitter. He's pissed off at snowbanks. Five foot tall fucking snowbanks everywhere. I, I hate snowbanks. I do. I, I hate seeing snowbanks. You know, because it means that winter is definitely here. It's staked its claim. We're not going away anytime soon. These snowbanks, snowbanks, that are like five feet tall or more. Just fucking depressing. It's depressing to see these snowbanks. These really tall snowbanks. I love it when the town goes through and does the snow removal and gets rid of these wretched snowbanks. Oh my god, just because like seeing all that snow piled up on top of each other, it's just, oh my god, have we had that much snow? Honestly, why? I hate winter. I hate winter. I do. I hate winter. That's probably why. I hate hockey so much. I don't necessarily hate hockey, but I just don't like hockey. But it, I, a big reason why I hate winter are like the huge snowbanks. Like you walk down the sidewalk and it's like you can't even see the damn street sometimes. The snowbanks are just so fucking high. And it's just so goddamn irritating. I just hate dealing with the stupid snowbanks and having to drive more carefully around them and things like that. It's just fucking irritating. They're just, I, I like, you know, the best thing I like about snowbanks is when they melt. That's when I really like snowbanks is the melting of the snowbanks or the removal of the snowbanks. Just get the, just plow them away. It's just goddamn irritating. It's just, it's just a sign that winter is here and, and it just, it's, it just makes me depressed. Snowbanks just depress me. And it's just, it's just irritating. And I'm just tired. I hate seeing snowbanks all over the place. There are snowbanks all over in Vermont. And I'm just tired of looking at them. And I just want them to go away. And I want spring to show up. And I want COVID to go away with winter. That would be nice. But I don't see it fucking happening because feel like COVID's going to stick around for a while and so are the goddamn snowbanks. So thank you for the contribution, Louis. Or Louis. I don't know how to pronounce it. So if I mispronounced your name, that's your fucking problem. Let's see. We have another one from Manchester Stand Up comedian Danny P. <clears throat> He's pissed off at the absolute scumbag in Game of Thrones season two who keeps a harem of his own daughters. Yeah, that that guy was creepy as fuck. Like seriously, that's that oh my god. Yeah that that guy. That that's that is like horrible. I felt bad for all of his wives slash daughters in that in that season. I'm, I'm glad. I'm glad he saw his end. You know, I'm glad he. Or did he? Is he dead? I think he's dead. Yeah, I think he. I think he got killed. I don't remember. It's been a long time since I saw that, but I tried not to see it very much but yeah I, I i'm glad he he's a scumbag 
My god. Can you imagine if something like that really existed? It may have at some point, but like the fact that like this guy has a harem of women and they're all his daughters. And he just produced more women by by like having sex with the daughters. And they would kill the sons. If they were sons. If they were boys, he'd kill them. It's terrible. It's it's just yeah, he was a scumbag. He was a total fucking scumbag. I I imagine like if he I wanna say that like um, Joffrey, not Joffrey, but who's Ramsey, Ramsey Bolton. If Ramsey Bolton got old, that's what he would be. He would be the old guy in the middle of the woods with the harem of women, but they're all his daughters. That's, that's probably Ramsey Bolton in the future. That scumbag from season two of Game of Thrones is probably Ramsey Bolton in the future if Ramsey Bolton hadn't been killed. Spoiler alert. Sorry. Is it really a spoiler alert since, you know, the show's been over for three years now? So it's not really a spoiler alert. It's just... Trust me, you'll still enjoy it when you when you watch it happen, if you actually do watch that season. So, um, but yeah. I, that guy's a scumbag. I hate that guy. That, that, that guy was creepy. I don't know if I, I, I... I mean, I hated him, but he was disgusting and... It was creepy, and I... Ugh. So thank you for the contribution, Danny. <laughs> um, there's another one from the Twitter. It, it, the username is at It's Me, It's Me Andy. Friggin' Microsoft updates on Xbox. I have had two in the last three days, take about 30 minutes, and I don't get a choice either. Do them or stay logged offline until I do. Oh, that that is, that is lame. That's stupid that they have to do two updates in three days. That has to suck. I hate when that happens. Like, it probably means that like the first update already had glitches, so they had to do another update. That's, that's frustrating. And that you can't go online and play your precious little video games until you do the update. It's like, no, you have to do the update. You don't have a freaking choice but to do the update. It, you wish that, like, the updates were optional, but apparently they aren't optional. So sorry to hear that. That's, that's, that's lame. That's stupid. Or maybe you should just stop playing video games. Video games are rotting the world. You know, God forbid you could actually go outside and do something, you know, instead of like staying in the house all day playing video games. God forbid you have to stop playing video games for half an hour, half an hour, really. That's what that that's what you're upset about is that you have to stop playing video games for half an hour. God forbid. Maybe you could do something more productive. I don't know how old you are. Maybe homework? Maybe you could do homework. I don't know. Or you're an adult. Why are you an adult? Why are you an adult playing video games? That doesn't make any fucking sense to me. See, if you're going to come on to what's... If you're going to contribute to what's pissing you off Wednesday and contribute about something that's interfering with your video games, my response will always be, how about you just stop playing video games? How about you just take a break from playing video games? Do you really have to play video games all the goddamn time? Maybe if you got off your ass and actually did something with your life, you'd be a bit more productive in everything else. But no, no. You're upset because your leisure time activity, you know, which takes up most of your time, has been paused for 30 minutes so you could download some updates. Go outside. Live a little. Not not in your TV either. Like go outside, walk around, get some exercise, something. You hate me now, but you're gonna thank me later for this advice, Andy. And 
thank you. Thank you for the contribution. <sighs> we have two more left. One is, th th this next one is from John Takashi Suzuki. He's pissed off at people who watch playoff football and think they know what's what. Hello, there was a whole season you missed. Are there actual NFL fans out there that only watch the playoffs? That's a thing? I didn't... I was not aware that that was a thing. I didn't know that there were people out there that that only that that only you know watched playoff football. I know that there's people out there that play that only watch playoff hockey, but I didn't know that there were actual people out there that only watched playoff football. Why? Watch the whole goddamn season. It's one game a week. You can't watch one game. A w it, you, you can't watch one game a week of your team. But you'll watch the three or four games that they're in in the playoffs. Maybe just one game. What the hell are you doing with your life? Honestly, that's that's what you did. And you think you're an expert because you've only watched them in the playoffs? Or you think you're a fan because you've only watched them in the playoffs? You're not a fan if you only watch them in the playoffs. You're, you're, you're a gold digging bastard is what you are. Shame on you. You're not a true fan. I, I don't like when people question my fanhood. But I'm sorry. But if you only follow your team in the playoffs, then you're just a worthless piece of shit. You're scum of the earth. You're terrible. You're awful. You deserve everything bad that happens to you if you only watch NFL football during the playoffs. Seriously. What the fuck is wrong with you? Get a fucking life. If there's people like that. I, I, I don't understand why there's people like that. It makes no goddamn sense to me. Some people are just the worst fucking people. And people who only watch NFL during the playoffs are the worst fucking people. They're, they're on the list now. They're on the list of my stupid people. People who only watch the NFL during the playoffs are have now made it to my list of stupid people. <sighs> Thank you for the contribution, John. We have one more left. This one was from YouTube. Because if you comment, if you contribute, if you tell me what's pissing you off, in a YouTube comment of one of my videos, it will end up on the podcast, no matter what. That's my guarantee to you. Maybe not all of them. I mean, it has to be a good take. I, I weed out, like, a bunch of the shit ones. Like, I had somebody tell me consequences. And I'm like, what the fuck is that? What the hell is even that? You're just trying to be funny by just putting one word? Fuck off with that. Be descriptive. Anyway. <clears throat> we have one more, and it is from YouTube, and it is from my best friend in, in stand-up comedy, G.W. Foley. He's, he's pissed off. His comment is, Dude, the price of used cars is pissing me off. Too damn high. Why are used cars so expensive? It's a used car. It shouldn't be that expensive. That doesn't make any sense to me at all. That used cars are expensive. Used cars are not expensive. They should not be that expensive. Why do you get a used car? Because it's not that expensive. But apparently nowadays, used cars are too expensive. You've got to be kidding me. That's that's preposterous. I didn't look this up. I should have done some research and looked up some used cars to see how much they are. But I hope it's... I, I, it just... It, they should be less expensive. I imagine they still are less expensive than new cars. But they should be, like, substantially less expensive than new cars. 
at least, I, I don't know a percentage, 25% uh, less expensive than a new car. Maybe, I don't know. I don't even know if that's good enough, but I'm just like, it's fucking bullshit. That, that you want to get a used car and you think, oh, I'll get a used car because it's less expensive. Or it's, 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 it's not going to be that expensive. It won't cut into my budget that badly. And then you try to look for a used car, but you can't find one because they're too much goddamn money. That's that's horrible. That's that's pathetic. That's annoying. That's it's it's bullshit. It's bullshit that that's the case. You should be able to find a very inexpensive used car, a good quality used car for a for a reasonable price, not a fucking high price. Why are used cars so goddamn expensive nowadays? Is this like another? Is that because of inflation? Is inflation even affecting the used cars that people gave up and they don't want to use anymore? Second-hand cars are, are, are too expensive nowadays? What, is, is our second-hand underwear going to be more expensive now, too? Second-hand clothes going to be more expensive? Are you fucking kidding me with used cars being too goddamn expensive? Do better, car dealers. Do better. Well, that's all I have for this week's episode of What's Pissing You Off Wednesday for February 2nd, 2022. It's the Groundhog Day edition. Maybe that's what I'll call the podcast episode today. I don't know. Probably not. I don't know. I'm not that. I don't really care about the Groundhog, but we'll see whatever the fuck I call this week's episode. I don't know. Anyway, um, please subscribe to the channel on YouTube and like the video. And also, um, if you're listening to this podcast on Apple Podcasts, please subscribe, rate, and review. And finally, happy What's Pissing You Off Wednesday. <laughs>